Hey there, this is Atul from Team K2 Academy and super excited to announce that my next bootcamp on out migrating your applications, virtual machines, databases, data, including entire networking, everything that you need to know to how to migrate entire workload from on-premise to AWS cloud or from other cloud to AWS cloud. We are going to talk about that. It's totally revamped from the last five, six years we've been running this and we are redoing this starting on 15th of February, this Saturday. So I'm going to talk about this, everything that you need to know, if you want to learn, understand what you should be learning or what we're going to cover in this. With that, let's state, and I'll come back to about this whole everything, including two certifications, which is AWS Cloud Practitioner or Foundation, as well as AWS Solution Architect. So quickly talk about, first of all, who this program or bootcamp is. If you're an IT professional or system administrator or a cloud architect or solution architect, or someone who's working on DevOps, principles, automation, specialist, databases, data engineers who are migrating their workload from on-premise to cloud or want to build it on cloud, including application developers, managers, CTOs, anyone who's planning to work on migrations or have a project on migration, including security compliance, as well as, as I said, for someone who is going to work. So what you're going to learn is we'll cover, and I'm going to keep it very, very high level. If you have any questions or leave a comment or hit reply wherever you're watching this based on that, we'll understand the whole migration framework. There are different phases and we're going to go deeper into each of these phases. There are also path, there are seven different paths and we're going to focus on the five main paths that are available and out of those five main rehost, relocate, replatform as well as refactoring we'll be covering about. All we'll go into deeper into each of these different paths which will be right for you based on the type of workload and you can differ different workloads as well. We're also going to look at the application migration services right from AWS migration services to the database migration to the how do you if you're working on mainframes or have a mainframe kind of workload how do you migrate those Windows, Linux, SAP, Oracle, VMware, and so on. And so any type of workload that you have. We're also going to look at AWS Migration Hub Service, Application Discovery Service, which will discover all the type of, of workload you have on on-premise or the discoveries of those all the different type of applications so that you can prepare it for migration. We'll also look at the application migration service as well as database migration service. And within database migration, there are homogeneous database migration as well as heterogeneous database migration. And if you're working on heterogeneous database migrations, there'll be a schema conversion tool that you'll be learning. Now, once you have understood all these migration services, there's a big factor comes about data. So in for data, you have the, uh, we can have a network level migration of data or you can have a snow family where you migrate. So we'll be talking about those entire snow family and the services are associated with that to migrate that data that you might have. We'll also look at how do you sync from on-premise to cloud at a network level using both fast direct connect as well as VPN. So different data transfer services as well. So this is a high level. We'll, once we understood the concept and migration services, then we'll go back to the basics of AWS services. If you know already, you're probably good. Otherwise, if you're new to AWS Cloud, you will understand all the basic services that you will be needing to understand. We'll also look at EC2, which is quite common, virtual machines, both Windows and Linux type, Lambda, which is serverless. We'll also look at containers and Kubernetes when we are doing um, replatform from working on a VM-based applications to microservices, containers, and Kubernetes based as well. We'll also look at the different storage services like S3 buckets, block storage EBS and file storage for shared file system. We'll also look at network level, different VPCs, subnets, connectivity, load balancers, firewall, so that when data moves, you prepare and put it into the right manner. We'll also look at the network connectivity for VPN, point to point and point to site, depending on the type of network you want to transfer data from on-premise to cloud or within one data center to another data center, one region they call, or one availability zone we call uh, across them as well. We'll also look at direct connect, which is a dedicated pipe, especially if you have the huge amount of data that you want to transfer, we'll be covering that as well. Also from a database background point of view, relational data services, RD services, right from um, common your Oracle, SQL Server, Postgres, MySQL, and so on. How do you migrate them from on-premise to cloud, including security, which is identity and access management, security, firewalls, 
uh, users, groups, roles, policies, etc. as well. And everything is done going to be done using extensive hands-on labs. You can check out more on kirunacadby.com forward slash Airbus MIG05. This is about migration-specific labs and dependency lab as well. And we don't stop there. We do a lot of projects. So first project is all about setting up a three-tier architecture. So you have an on-premise three-tier architecture, exactly that on cloud, right from database tier to the application tier to the web tier, firewalls, load balancers, uh, gateways, replication, or whatever you do as, as you do in on-premise. Very extensive hands-on lab, step-by-step -step guide, videos, projects, and so on. We're also going to do the second project about migrating. That anyway is a core crux, migrating application services, database services, and the data and all migration staging service. Very, very extensive project that we're going to do. Very detailed program. And then another project we are going to do is monolithic to microservices. How do you have a monolithic big bulky application broken down to microservices and deployed on containers and Kubernetes as well that we'll be looking. So this is a very high learning path, which I'm going to do. I'll, you can pause this, watch this, but again, anything and everything related to migration from on-premise to cloud, whatever services you have on AWS cloud, we're going to talk about those uh, as well. We'll share this link as well here. Now with that, we cover with two certifications which are quite hot and popular in demand, which is cloud practitioner. If you're a complete beginner, I think I would suggest you begin with cloud practitioner and which is where you see the exam. You'll get all the simple exam questions, preparation, kit, all those things. And then with that, tons and tons of guys who already cleared the certification that you've seen and we have tons and tons of those success stories later also targeted for second certification for targeted for architects whether solution architect application architect where aws solution architect associate with this is one of the most in demand certification we'll be talking about we'll give you all the exam questions sample preparation all those things that you will need for this preparation also again there is hundreds of guys who have cleared the certification on this and then finally as i said success stories uh, whatever your background is whether you're not from it background like tolu or you have a career gap like Meghna, or you have no coding, there's no coding or programming required. We are going to do everything on cloud using infrastructure tools, uh, using command line, using graphical user interface, using automation like cloud formation and so on, you'll be looking at. Also, Kennedy working with some of the big clients here in the UK, or here, Kether got multiple job offers, or Shovik working as an enterprise architect, or uh, Obina got a job, recently got a job offer as well. And it's not one, two, three, 44,000 individuals since, or till at least just till December 2023. And since then we have grown exponentially on that. So everything that you're going to learn has been tried and tested number of times before you. And we always get excellent five-star rating feedback as well. And very quickly, why you want to do or work with me this is me, close to two and a half decades of IT experience. I've done, lived, gone from on-premise to cloud, both AWS, Azure, Google, multi-cloud. And what I'm biggest proud of is helped 44,000 individuals to learn cloud and migration to cloud as well. These are some of the clients I've worked across the globe, right from finance uh, domain to telecom to banking, like as in Europe, UK, US remotely, as well as Middle East as well. And I've gone from earning less than $100 a month to earning in excess of 1,000 pounds a day here in the UK as well. So all those we're going to share with and including what mistakes to avoid, how you can learn all this quickly. So if you're interested to work with me, if probably you're watching this on a video or uh, just hit reply to that email or leave a comment below this video. And one final thing, if you want to look at more success stories, let me walk you in terms of where you can get more or success stories like that. If you go to the ketonacademy.com for the slash free community, it's absolutely free that you get. So you can go here and under classroom, you go under the classroom here and then look at the success stories. We have tons and tons of guys, hundreds and hundreds of success stories, right from someone going from DBA to multi-cloud to SJ doubled her salary to Hari got a job offer, Sagar three job offers, Aparna three job offers, Kennedy job offer, Sean working from uh, unemployed to AWS solution architect to Shubra to Nilesh. And of tons and tons of you can go on and on because this is all coming from real experience. So with that, if you're interested, hit reply to this email or probably maybe a comment wherever you're watching this and can't wait to help you, which starting in uh, 15th, so very short time, 15th of February, this Saturday, can't wait to help you. If you have any questions, hit reply to that email as well. Uh, with that, thanks for listening and take care and bye for now.